Hey, you guys. How you guys doing? All right. So I just got back from vacation today. And I got some free time right now. So I want to go ahead and do a quick reading. This is just going to be like one or two energies. been a little while a few days since I've been on haven't touched the cards in about five days something like that <laughs> okay okay let's go ahead and get started and jump right in show us dominant energy spirit okay Aquarius okay Aquarius be real okay somebody somebody some of y'all may need to be realistic okay kuhumi katumi katumi i think that says katumi okay so i'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm going to have to grab the book for this one. Katsumi. Before we do that, let's pull Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, show us an energy here, please. Okay, we got two out. This is a blessing in disguise, 33. Be patient and have faith that your angels have the situation under control. What will come is far better than you dared to dream. Okay, and then we have, um, be honest, <clears throat> excuse me. There could be some blocked communication also. Be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth, then let source take it from here. Okay. Okay, let's read Katsumi. Katsumi is an ascendant master of the highest level, an amazing, powerful being who can be incredible, who could be an incredible force for transformation and good in your life. In many years that Katsumi has honored me through my work, he has often appeared at a time that great clarity is needed. In my experience, Katsumi has never been one to mince words. He is a master of straight talking and going to the core of the issue. If you have drawn this card, Katsumi is declaring to you that there is an area in your life that needs clear thinking and action now. We all have areas in our life that we procrastinate about hoping that if we ignore the problem, it will simply just go away. Yet, our unwillingness to face the situation will often bring on the very crisis that we are fearing. You must think it through objectively and honestly, then take the bull by the horns and take action with courage. Katsumi is the master of letting you know that your life circumstances are your own responsibility and that the cavalry is not coming over the hill to save you. That he, your angels, and your spirit guides can truly help you when you commit to helping yourself. He is, however, a master of compassion and would like you to note that taking action can also include asking for help. Ask Katumi to help you to have the necessary clarity compassion and courage to help you tackle that which you have been dreading or putting off. If your finances are in a mess, a relationship is in trouble, or your health needs a major overhaul, then Katsumi will help you with these things and more. Ask him to come and he will be there in that moment, steadfast and supportive by your side, helping you to do whatever it is that you have probably known you should have done for quite some time okay so this may be um 
somebody maybe they need to be real with themselves their priorities what they've been putting off either way this is a message and a blessing in disguise oh, okay yeah be honest with yourself okay let's go ahead and pull a couple energies from here okay roommates I got two out roommates something about roommates wow i need you to move out wow they they've been in their feelings drinking over you okay So could maybe it's a drinking thing. Yeah, I don't know. You guys know. Okay, let's start here with the roommates. Got three energies, and then we're going to start as usual tomorrow. The roommates. Show me this roommate. Courthouse could be going to court. You guys could be going. Um, I see an energy somebody going to court for some kind of eviction or eviction notice. We're thinking about this. I feel like somebody's going to take some kind of legal action to get somebody up out of their place. I need you to move out, roommates. Endulsement, persuasion, bribe, temptation. Could, yeah, this definitely could be a legal issue. You guys could definitely be going and seeing a uh, lawyer. Somebody's being very stubborn. Stubbornness, they don't want to hear it maybe. Maybe you've tried to tell them, um, gave them a warning, a heads up, or you're thinking about this. Stress, headache, pressure, lack of sleep. Okay, what else, spirits, regards to... Uh, roommates or roommates roommates courthouse 23 and 52 restless just slid out harmony aries energy mercury and aries and sun and libra this could be something to do with a uh, connection, relationship, or marriage. Okay, definitely some stress and restless energy. So let's start there then. Let's do a tea leaf. Let's pull a tea leaf from here. What is this restless energy with some roommates? Okay, we got two out. Turkey. Could have been something over Thanksgiving turkey. Somebody is behaving stupidly. Somebody's acting stupid. Apple, temptation will test you. And there's temptation there on the card down there. Your roommates. They could have impulsively went to court or something. I see that here too. a big old chunk out three of wands three of wands others help yes yeah, somebody you were helping somebody whoever is this whoever's home this is or um, whoever's wanting somebody to move out you've been helping somebody for quite some time this could be um, king of cups Pisces cancer Scorpio Kind, romantic man, talented, 
helping man, compassionate, very caring. I feel like you've been overly caring in this situation. And um, this definitely could involve a relationship or marriage or your roommate's relationship or friends, marriage, coworker, whoever this roommate's energy is. Um, I feel like they bribed you or something or persuaded you to stay with them. I just feel like somebody's over welcoming their stay here. Uh, the full, the full king of cups. Could be a new job on the horizon. Spend wisely. The tower, yeah. Oh yeah, five of cups. The tower and five of cups is so somebody's got to get ready to move out. Um, I feel teary energy here. So there's some kind of regret, remorse. I feel like there's tensions building up, and I also feel um, resentments building up. Um, feeling unfulfilled. I feel like somebody's feeling um, like um, crowded. It just feels like somebody's feeling crowded in their own home. And I feel like somebody is wanting their alone time or to live alone or possibly um, alone with their spouse. I feel like whoever this is with this energy here, accept the truth, be honest with yourself. Whoever is um, overwhelcoming their stay or has been staying with somebody, I feel like they know they've got to do something with this Mercury and Aries. They've got to take action on something. Alexa, uh, lower the volume. I couldn't, I didn't know if I wanted to tell her to lower the volume or just turn off. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so um, someone is behaving stupid. Show me this tower. Tower. Show me the roommate's tower. Yeah, emotions. Ace of Cups reversed. They're feeling emotional. Could be feeling sad lately. There's definitely some regrets. They could have had uh, issues in their personal relationships or some court issue. Regrets regards to a courthouse or something with the law. Something definitely with the relationship here. There's harmony on the horizon, but for some reason, whoever this is, is, uh, I'm hearing lazy. They've been being lazy. There, I see a dog here also involved. Three of wands, yeah. They know they gotta get going. Why are they emotional? They could have cried to you recently or some kind of uh, sob story or something like that. Uh, why are they emotional? Blue balls. I want you so bad. Wow. They've been um, hiding their feelings too. Okay, somebody's been living apart, but this came out reversed. So somebody, I feel like, could be living apart from a spouse possibly. Seventh house energy, Libra. They just can't believe you had the courage to cut them off is here too. Okay. King of Swords reverse. Yeah. Okay. Somebody did cut somebody off. I also see somebody here manipulated a situation. Blue balls. I want you so bad. They, they've been celibate, abstinent. Somebody has in this mix. Blue balls. King of Cups, a masculine. So the King of Cups down here again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Keep in mind, this could be any sign. Highly attracted to somebody, possibly a woman, an Empress energy, motherly energy. You guys could have children, okay? I feel like you guys are going to be, um, somebody in this mix is going to be moving back in together, okay? And moving up out of some roommate's house or whoever this is, Okay emotional yeah king of cups is somebody very emotional very intuitive you guys um living with blue balls okay this person could be homeless for some of you guys 
could be homeless, feeling out in the cold. You could have kicked this person out of your home or um, they lost a job. Something happened with this five of coins. This could have involved a female, a woman. Okay, a selfish, money-hungry, feminine energy. They've been struggling. It could be a poverty mindset, victim mentality, victim mindset. Something happened. Bad health, something happened. Either way, this person is craving, has this lot strong sexual desire. I'm hearing they lost you. Okay, living apart. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay, there they go again. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Uh, if somebody here is very money hungry, it could be jealousy, envy, envious. There's an immature feminine energy here. Okay, this could be a family dynamic, relatives, Ten of Cups, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody's jealous or something like that. Something with some money. Very irresponsible feminine energy is here. Um, immature. The Nine of Swords. Whoever that is, is in the Nine of Swords dressing out and um, restless for some reason. Living apart. Maybe they're living apart. Nine of Swords. Okay, something in April. April is here. That could be this person's name or something in April or someone's birthday in April. You guys know. Um, Nine of Swords. Okay. Some of y'all um, could have separated in April. Hidden secrets can harm you, skull. There could be a pregnancy involved. This just hit my little guy, a little pregnant woman, mother, <laughs> mother earth. Okay, so there could be a pregnancy involved or some feminine energy. Dolphin financial gain. Could be a secret pregnancy or secret woman or something. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So some feminine energy is really nervous about something. Principle. Okay, this feminine energy has been trying to manipulate a situation to get you to move towards her in some way, shape, or form, okay, or have some kind of future with her, but the opportunity for that was lost, so something in the past, she's been emotional, he or she, okay, and whoever's got blue balls, <laughs> okay. Sagittarius energies here and Scorpio. Things are going to change. This person's got to move out. Three of Wands. You guys could have went to court. Hanged Man Reverse, Pisces. This person's been stalling. They've been procrastinating, dragging their feet. Whoever's house this is or... Whoever's supporting this person, they're tired of it, I can tell. Yeah, they want them to be independent, get independent and be honest with themselves. It's a blessing in disguise, be real. This person wants to live alone. This could be a single person they're living with, like somebody that's not in a relationship for some of y'all. Either way, I just feel like they want them to move out so they can live on their own or something like that. Full reverse, they feel like somebody fooled them. They're living with a very hard working, responsible, masculine energy, possibly a father figure or an older man, older gentleman. Um, somebody very focused on work, career, business. They have their own home, live alone. They just want to live alone. Yeah, they feel like whoever this is, they're living with three of pentacles, reverse seven of wands. This could be a friend too. They feel like they're just like lazy. They're just not making any effort. Page of pentacles, reverse. Yeah. They're not making any effort to do anything or to get them like they're not trying to do nothing. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands reversed. They're getting ticked off and 
There's just tensions. They're getting ticked off, turned off. They feel like they're being taken advantage of. Six of coins reverse death, and they're done with the entirety of it. Ten of swords. This is done. They feel like they could have been betrayed, stabbed in the back. They're just looking at whoever these roommates are or whoever this is, like, as if they're, like, an enemy now. They feel disrespected, too, whoever this is. Selfish is what I see. Bamboozled. Somebody was bamboozled. This could be multiple people, multiple of these roommates. Some troublemaker, drama starter, instigator. Dark magic. It was a misunderstanding. What else does this person want to communicate? Are these roommates? Whoever's home this is. They might be going to court to um, provide some documentation or some kind of paperwork for this person to get get out. That's what it's looking like. Because something with courthouse. I never got a chance to truly open up and tell you how, I'm, how much I love you. Attempted murder. There could be some violence going on with this Ten of Swords. I see attempted murder. Nobody makes me come the way you do. So this person's been having blue balls coming and stuff all over the place or something. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm not going to get into all that. Okay. They know what they've been doing. This could be somebody that's in separation, living with some friends or roommates or some family. Either way, there's going to be some kind of new love, some kind of new opportunity. Uh, maybe, like I said, maybe a new job or deepening of a relationship, starting over in a relationship. The full. Yeah, this person's been distant, MIA, possibly hiding, depressed. Virgo energy. They got to come out of hiding. They've been hiding at two of his homelessness. I just don't feel like this is somebody that's been living here permanently. Seven of Wands, yeah. They're guarded and stuff and blocking somebody off or trying to give off the impression of this. This person is very egotistical, very prideful. What is this endorsement? Persuasion, temptation. Knight of Wands reversed and Eight of Wands, okay. Yeah, this person's been running away from their problems, running away from responsibilities, possibly adulthood. They're restless. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Eight of Wands. Yeah, they got to travel. They got to travel. They got to move. They got to do something. Spur of the moment decisions. Like, I'm just, get this energy. I'm sensing, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this person's been kind of childish. The fool. Yeah, they got to take a leap of faith and the universe is going to push them off the cliff. Possibly whoever's home this is. Because I see courthouse. Maybe going to court to make it official. Okay, restless. King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Okay. This could be a father involved or children involved or a child. This, there's going to be some kind of new love, okay, or something like that. Ace of Cups. Some kind of, um, somebody's restless about a relationship starting over or some kind of new love. King of Pentacles. Is this the person getting ready to get up out of a home? Yeah. Death. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Death, Scorpio. Uh, this could be a water sign too, but yeah. Here comes the Grim, the Grim Reaper. He ain't playing. This person's got to own up to shit and be responsible and they got to change. This is done with this living situation is done and over with. They've been, um, that's what we've seen in the energy, procrastination. Grab the bull by the horns and I see a bull there too. This Taurus energy. See the bull horns back there? What else? They got to do what they got to do or something. My karmic recently called me. I rejected the phone calls because I know they're trying to start drama with this. The archangels are pushing them forward and helping them heal. Yeah. The universe and the angels are pushing whoever this is. Whoever's living with you or your person's living with somebody. <laughs> okay. Okay, show me this harmony. 
Libra energy. Things are going to balance out here. Okay, it looks like some feminine energy got in the way of your guys' relationship, possibly. Something to do with money, possibly. Somebody's really greedy and money hungry. Five of Wands reverse. Okay, yeah. She's about of the picture, it looks like, or very soon about to get about the picture. This could be a female living with somebody or something with court. Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, she was competing with somebody or starting some kind of drama or instigating shit. Something with some courthouse. Yeah, drama. She was starting conflict. Page of Wands reverse. Bad news for her, him or her. Okay, what is this? Someone is behaving stupid. Turkey. Ace of Cups. Okay, I'm not trying to offend nobody, but that's what's here. This person is acting stupid about some new love. They're acting stupid. Regards to love or a child or something like that, or they did or they were. New love or deepening of a relationship. Kind, some man or woman that's typically kind and romantic. Very helpful and generous. Somebody's been acting stupid. Playing games, power plays. Maybe some financial abuse, trying to have the upper hand, trying to have control, trying to have power. Spirit says they're acting stupid. They need to quit acting stupid. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Okay. They was trying to hide. Hermit reverse. They was trying to hide or run and hide. Spirit's like, no, get your ass. Get your ass and face life. That's what I'm hearing. Back to life, back to reality. Back to life, back to reality. We have Capricorn season coming up too. I mean, I'm going to give y'all Sagittarius as y'all time. Okay. So like, what, three weeks or something like that? But seriously, um, Virgo energy. This person's got to face reality. They've been hiding at somebody's home or something like that, or some roommates or some friends. They got to face life now and face the situation head on. They're hiding from something or someone or the law or something. Okay. Diamonds. Okay, some karmic. These are karmic feminine energies. Lovers reverse. Some karmic. Something exploded and changed. Tower, lovers reverse, queen of cups reverse. Could have been a separation and a relationship. Um, you could be emotionally unavailable with whoever this is, or you cut off your love for them, or you just don't really care right now. Diamond, someone will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay, diamond, spirit, diamond. I see ride or die. Excuse me. Ride or die. Diamonds. They don't want to level up. <laughs> this person has to level up. What are they? They were somebody's waiting for them to change. You could have gave up on this person because they weren't changing. Or these people. They don't want to level up. Let's see what else here. And then I'm just going to move forward. What else, Spirit? They don't want to level up. They're about to be their asses taking a court or something. The star. Hope for the future, improved wealth, and recognition. You guys could be an Aquarius or involved with an Aquarius, an Aquarius in a situation, or this is just a group of people um, or a whole bunch of roommates staying at a house where they were. They gotta be, they're scared to face the unknown, fear of the unknown, fear of being independent. They don't wanna level up. What else? This person has been hiding. They're not, they're like, we're not letting you hide. Your time is up from hiding. 
Your time is up for hiding, sir, man. Four of Swords. You've had much needed rest. You've had much needed time for yourself. You've had plenty of time. You've been resting, okay? You were burnt out or something, or you were working hard a lot, or you had some kind of Five of Pentacles energy job loss. You got hurt. You were in bad health. You had COVID or something. Your relationship ended. Now it's time to bring balance. We're going to bring balance in your relationship or some kind of connection. We're going to bring harmony. You guys both mutually have a certain respect and love for each other, okay? You guys, some of y'all, this could be financial partnerships. You, um, We've been showing you signs. God has been showing this person signs, synchronicities. They've been giving them time to heal. Five of Wands, you need to let go. Let go of ego, fears, tensions. There could have been tension at work, gossip, bickering. This person is uh, very egotistical possibly a masculine energy king of cups they are it's like they're competing with the feminine counterpart it seems like you somebody's challenging this person's ego magician somebody leveled up and somebody else don't want to level up and they're just fighting off some kind of transformation or change with blue balls magician a strong spiritual connection is between y'all manifestation a lot of manifestation is here will the fortune the magician what's in motion brings success enjoying an improvement in relationships pisces sagittarius aquarius there's every every sign is here pretty much yeah this person is scared of um it goes beyond scared this person it seems like they're terrified of change terrified make sure this is still recording okay yeah so um i'm gonna move on to the next energy show me this temptation will test you apple temptation okay there's a card stuck in between where did this come from i'm never gonna give you up temptation may test you Six of Cups could be children involved, reunion, life improves, old friends, family, renewed enthusiasm, approved finances. Yes, yes. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. These are yes answers. Yes, yes, yes. Sharing resources. You guys could be helping this person financially or um, helping them emotionally, supporting them emotionally, maybe something with child support. Uh, sharing resources, both benefiting financial backing teamwork i just feel like somebody's gonna be moving up out of a home and they're gonna go stay with somebody else possibly a romantic partner or a business type of partner um somebody's gonna be helping you see there they're like um that woman is sharing wealth and money resources or skills advice with somebody This could be a woman getting ready to share, offer resources or money, love, something with somebody less fortunate. They need to stop being fearful and scared and they need to stop acting stupid. King of Swords, somebody's about to say something. I really feel like the law is going to be involved or they already were they already were intellectual man take charge later direct whoever's home this is you need to be real firm you gotta have to be really really firm with this person or people you could be the landlord i see that here too you're gonna to have to speak up put your foot down and set boundaries this has been a learning lesson also for whoever's home this is or property Okay, let's move forward. 